Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a Sunday morning, and we are on our way to the beach site in Playa Rosada. Uh, on the road, you may see the volcano named Mombacho, which is uh, located on the Lake Nicaragua near the city of Granada. The road to Playa Rosada is a beautiful country road full of trees that uh, are very old, and there's a lot of uh, um, planting of uh, corn and beans, and, and it just gives you the idea of uh, what the country life is in uh, Nicaragua. The road is uh, paved, and uh, there will be a point where we will not have this nice pavement, but I just wanted you to see the beginning of the road to Playa Rosada. In the background, you may see the way that they um, mow the grass over here with the machete and uh, a lot of hard work, back breaking. This garden looks like uh, corn and beans. They mix the two uh, together, the two um, plants together. And look at how fertile the soil looks so dark. And uh, in the background, you may see some of the mountains. Now there are two other volcanoes, the Concepcion and the Madera volcanoes. They um, are on the island of Ometepe. It's supposed to be a beautiful touristic place. Yeah. In order to get to the island of Ometepe and uh, climb the volcanoes, you have to get on a ferry boat and uh, that uh, takes you on the Lake Nicaragua and it's a very picturesque and beautiful place, Ometepe. The legend is that the Cacique Nicarao, who was, I guess, the chief Indian before we were discovered by the Spaniards, lived there. And yeah. After we have been driving for about an hour and a half, we have finally arrived at the little town of Tola, uh, actually the intersection that will take us to Tola. And from there, we will take a dirt road to go to the beach side in Playa Rosada. This is a little town right before Rivas. Uh, and about 100 meters from here, you see the city of Rivas. So we take an intersection named Tola. to Tola, and uh, I just wanted for you to see the condition of the road and uh, the beautiful trees. And I want to mention that uh, on this uh, uh, area, the bricks, if I right. on this uh, area, they manufacture clay uh, bricks which is uh, what, uh, if I built a house, I would try to use that for the construction of the house. And uh, uh, labor is cheap, so um, this is just a thought. Yeah. In the middle of Tola, the city of Tola, to the left is the park, and to the right is the church. The very picturesque little town Simple people, old homes. Look at the clay roof. The church needs to be painted.
Tomela la, a los techos. Look how cute the little houses are with the old clay roof. And of course everything is green after so much rain. But this is like real simple, quiet, no cars, hardly anybody. Of course it's Sunday. arrived at the entrance of the road towards the Santana Ranch where the Playa Rosada is located. Look at the spectacular view and uh, um, we will show you some more. This is just the, to show you the beginning of the ranch, Santana Ranch. Well, we finally arrived after two and a half hours driving and stopping a couple of times to take some shots. This is the entrance to the property where the beachfront lots are. Look at how beautiful the vegetation is. Of course, this is June after the rain. Hola. Has some of the local beauties just crossing by. Volteen, te digan adiós. Saluden. Adiós. This is the view as we are approaching the beach site. Isn't it spectacular? Look in the background, some of the waves, that's the, around where Popoyo is, that's where the surfers like to go. There's butterflies flying everywhere, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day, sunny, and uh, everything is so green and lush. And the color of the water is so blue, different than the other beaches. I have to get in this picture so that you see some person in the film besides the beauty of Nicaragua. This is the old ranch house, which eventually the new developers plan to have like a clubhouse and uh, maybe even uh, build a pool, have a swimming pool for the use of all the lot owners. As it is, it's very rustic and uh, we'll take more pictures inside. I just wish that uh, you could see it from the outside. Sí.
how beautiful it is today. Look at all the butterflies everywhere. This is just the one spot right in front of the clubhouse. Uh, later on, we're going to go to where uh, the lot that I plan to purchase is. Usually, I can walk through here, but today with the high tide, I think we're just going to go back home. There's some open uh, shores uh, here, the uh, open sea where you can walk, take walks over here. That's not right in front of my lot. I would have to walk over here to be able to take a long walk. But still, it's so pretty. This is the back of the ranch. It's not very close to my lot. This is uh, more like uh, El Estero. I haven't been able to find the translation of the word Estero. It's uh, probably like where the ocean joins with the river. And this is where uh, I said that there's a place to walk, which is not that far from my lot. Unfortunately, my lot does not have that much open space. It's got a lot of those holes. You'll be able to see them later on in the video.
solo de que ya, ya estuvo, vámonos para el otro lado a tomar la foto del norte. Dale la cara, ponete de frente. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Ah? Harold. Harold, ok, Harold. ¿Cómo te llamas? Carlito. Ah, Carlito, bandido. ¿Qué te haces con el machete, Carlito? ¿Ah? Wester. Wester. Ajá. Con permiso. Quiero de todo. Sí. ¿Puedo lograr esto? Así, hombre, claro. We're standing right here at the beginning of the so-called project Playa Rosada. It consists of about 80 lots, out of which only 30 have been already marked by the red marks. And uh, I have made a deposit to purchase one of them at the very bottom of this little cliff which is right in front of the ocean, and it is called Playa Rosada because the sand is uh, uh, pink, supposedly because of uh, 1,000 years of crushing the little shells. The lots up above are expensive, and so are the ones at the bottom. The ones up above where I'm standing are that expensive because it's uh, um, gorgeous to see the view from above, but I didn't want to purchase one right up here and have to walk all the way down to the beach. I'd rather be closer to the ocean. Pero la vaina es irse a bañar. La bajada. OK. Pero mi, el, el approach de mi lote aquí no hay manera que yo cómo voy a meterme aquí. Aquí va el camino, aquí va el camino. Yo no sé, pero si no se compone. Aquí usted tiene que una calle. Sí, ya está, está, está con monte, pues nada más aquí. Pero esta es una avenida que viene de allá donde pasamos, sí. arriba. Que va hasta aquí a la costa. Que aquí. We finally arrived. We're at lot number B2, and this is supposed to be my lot. And it extends a thousand meters from here way on up. And uh, as you can see, I am right in front of the ocean. Uh, it will have 
to turn around to take a picture of it. Desde vuelta para que tome la foto. You see, there's the ocean in the background. And uh, this is the kind of like on a little bit of a steep incline. So there's a lot of challenges in building here, cleaning it up. And uh, uh, the view of the pink sand is right here. I'm not that far. My lot is right in front of the ocean. There's only five of them right here on this section. It is probably one of the best locations in the whole outfit. And that's why I fell in love with it. Subiendo para arriba. Tómele una foto a este palo seco. ¿De cuánto por tanto son estos lotes? 30. ¿30 metros? ¿De frente o cuadrado? De frente. ¿Cómo bueno? Sí, está. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Son de 30? ¿De qué? Sí. ¿Los lotes, doña María Elena, de cuántos son? ¿De 30? Por, ¿Usted sabe de la medida? 30 por 30, creo. 30 por 40, 30. 40 por 60. Son de 1000 metros. 1300 varas. ¿A dónde? ¿Por dónde está el otro? Aquí, aquí, venga. Ah, ¿dónde está? Ahí está, ¿ves? Aquí está, ¿ves? ¿Ves? Para que te des una idea. De la casa se puede hacer ahí dejando estos palos que te, que tengo un poco de sombra. Como por ahí. Una casita pequeñona.
Don Manuel Centeno Pastora, who is the original owner of the property, and he's selling it to the American developers. And uh, um, now um, he's just uh, visiting, and uh, he's been a good friend, and we've enjoyed the time together. <laughs>